Comrades, I am Admiral Andre. Welcome back to Real Politics, episode 24. We are progressing nicely, I think. The block has grown quite a lot now. Even in the last episode, we just added Kenya. And there is the prospect of potentially adding another country. I saw there was a comment just now left on episode 22. I had already recorded episode 23 by then. But the suggestion was that instead of any other country, we try and rather get Madagascar into our block. Obviously in place of invading it, because that might be quite costly given that it's a naval invasion and, you know, their forces are relatively strong. It's, uh, we saw, for example, with Kenya, this is more than a match for Kenya. But then on the other hand, there's the issue of potentially getting the Congo or the Republic of the Congo into our block, since we are now stationing nuclear missiles there. I don't know if we'll be able to do both. But let's try. Let's just see what we can do. The problem, though, with Madagascar is if we just have a look at the country info, their culture group, Austronesian, is different from ours in the rest of sub-Saharan Africa. Also, their civilization is Islamic. So there we take a bit of a double penalty. We are Africana and Bantu and Western and African. So we have this dual nature. But unfortunately, that means if we try and bring Madagascar in, you see it's only an 18% chance. It's still there. I mean, there's no problem with that. We just need to get the uh, relations up to 84. But that's where the other side of the problem comes in, in the sense that we start with only 51 relations. And if we improve relations, that will go up by about 15. So that will be 66. And then if we help them, I don't know if that will be enough to push us over 84. In fact, I doubt that very much. So I don't think there's much else I can do here. I can try to influence their political system. They are currently authoritarian, but they are trending towards a democracy. So it's not going to really help if we influence their system. So with that said, if we compare that with the Congo, then we will see their group Bantu and African, of course, matches ours, and therefore we also start with a much higher relationship, 62, and that will make a difference. So let's try this one first. If it turns out that we don't invade Madagascar, then so be it, but I think let's just try and focus where it's more likely to succeed at the moment. So first things first, improve relations. Only one. Jeez, that's the cheapest one I've ever seen. And then let's just run time forward again. So what else is happening? We are still competing for this uh, R&D Institute. I would very much love to host that. I think if we pick a city, Cape Town is of course the best place since that's my hometown. Nuclear weapon test. There is an opportunity to conduct a controlled nuclear explosion. This should improve our offensive nuclear capabilities or abilities, but our neighbors will not be pleased. And unfortunately, one of those neighbors, uh, Angola, is in our block, so we shouldn't damage that relationship. Zambia, I don't care. Malawi, I don't care. Tanzania, I don't care, because we would like to bring them into our country in the long term. So this is the other side of that uh, research that we're doing with Star Wars that will bring a 20% penalty to anyone attacking us with nuclear weapons. But this is only for, what is that, just over two years? I don't know if that's worth it. Relations minus three. Well, that said, that's not too bad. Actually, why not? Let's do it. So be it. And we test it. I guess it would be somewhere in Namibia. If we just have a look at the terrain map, we'll see those are, of course, the deserts. It also gives Botswana as a desert. So we'll test it there somewhere. 
Ah, success. So the Congo does like us more. Let's just go back to the politics map and see how much more we need. You see now, it will work if we help them. That is enough, I think. So 77, this gives us 10, so it will push us over 84, if of course we can succeed. So let's try that. And then the chance will be only 8% though. Wow, that's actually much worse than uh, Madagascar for some reason. I don't know why. I guess it's, they must be stronger. No, they're actually weaker. Hmm, maybe we'll have to revise this plan. If they reject us, then I'll switch over to Madagascar. At least try there. And of course, increasing relations won't hurt. Our warmonger level is going down. Uh-oh, just do that. I want that R&D. And should we try and invest somewhere again? I think we should. Kenya. If I click on it first. Make an investment. 40% chance, so a little less than half, but certainly better than nothing. Let me have some tea while we see. Okay, well, it's a success. So now, oh, what's this? Rare species. Several rare species in our country are on the verge of extinction. Should we do something? Absolutely, we should do something. Hope this isn't because of the nuclear test. Start artificial breeding programs, so obviously it will cost, but uh, better than losing score, certainly. So, Republic of Congo, are you willing to help or join us? Gotta wait. Hmm. Oh well. Let's invest in Angola again. Or oh, have a look at our relations. Since I saw this also when I started up the video. 2% chance for Uganda to leave. You can see they are the least bright green. Masked vigilante. Oh dear. It's Batman with a unicorn there. Some loonies dressing up in colourful spandex and pretending to be a real-life superhero. Surprisingly, though, he's actually caught quite a few thieves and muggers and taken them to the police. Unfortunately, in doing so, he's caused quite a lot of damage to his part of town, which is like every superhero ever. Catch him and put him away. Looks like he's doing more good than bad. Why not use him to attract tourists? Yes! We will let him do his thing and bring in some tourism which will hopefully allow us to pay for repairing the damage. So, Uganda, are you willing to listen? Please, listen, you know, whatever this is that we have a problem, let's resolve that. We're best of friends. And it flourished. Excellent. So, Kenya has brought us success. Money, that's quite a lot though, but I'll take the score. It's not, well... Yeah, mm, no, take the money, pay off the debt. That debt is uh, certainly not as little as I would have hoped, but anyway, obviously, all our choices have brought us here. So, Uganda, oh yes, DRC, or not DRC, RC, Republic. Actually, if we just look again at the relations here, the DRC likes us quite a lot and we've never done anything to build up that relationship. But now they are on my target list. Should we reconsider? I mean, as countries go, they're not very, very bad. Let's try with the Congo first though. And oh, well, the other Congo and then see what they say. And then if they refuse, we'll go to the DRC. Or Madagascar. You know, there's so many choices. Uh-oh, Ethiopia wants to leave again. Vigilante goes Hollywood. Our superhero became quite the attraction and seemed to really like the attention he was getting from the media. When he was approached by Hollywood movie makers, it did not take him long to agree. Well, it's more score. Just don't take him away to the US, please. So, Uganda likes us a bit more. I'm really messing up this thing. Well, 21% participation is not terrible. We've won on less than that. 19 days. Let's just uh, shore up our bets here by also improving relations with the DRC. Almost done with the transporter. 
two days, one day, and try. Ah, oh, they refused, which is obviously the most likely outcome. Oh well, so we'll just station our nuclear missiles there. Madagascar, are you really not going to be willing? Let's try it. Transport is finished, at last. So how many years since we invaded Mashriq did it take us to build a boat to put people on? A bit too long, I think. Then, let's see, military. We could go further down this route, but of course money is the issue. But it will help us a lot. Look at that, unit attack modifier for armor and infantry will go up. These are small drones that we use to locate the enemy. Okay, do it. Yes, more debt, I know, not a good thing. But the research must continue. DRC apparently is not convinced. And it's going to take a long time to try again. But luckily it won't be too much trouble. You see, they're already 72. And Uganda is bankrupt again. So if we try to help them, it will only give us 10. So we, we, it's not going to work. We have to rather do it the old-fashioned way of improving relations, so we'll just have to wait there. But now, Uganda, why are you bankrupt again? What can I do for you? Must I make an investment? I don't know if that will really help them directly, or if this is more like in the non-governmental private sector. I assume so, but let's help them. It just gives them a bit more money and takes resources away from us, but we can afford it and gives them money per month. Only 11, but it's something. So we'll do that, and then also we'll make an investment. It costs us more, but that's fine. See, we are committed to our partners here. So now that the transporters are done, let's add them to the forces. What? Look at that craziness. 237 is our capacity now. This is now obviously because of our alliances and that block research. But that is just... Uh, that means we can have... How many? Four times or something the, the might of the US. That's crazy. We could even invade them. Let's just get some transports. Just calm those ambitions a little. Required to begin offensive, that's fine. So, how many do we need? This is the question. I know we lost them very quickly in that Mashriq war, so I would say at least 20, probably. I mean, the maintenance, again, is not insubstantial or unsubstantial, but... Uh, do it. Just do it. Sometimes we must close our eyes and just pay. So, yes. Ah, well, okay, Madagascar does seem more receptive, so what if we... 69, you see, plus 10 is not enough. That will give us 79, and we still need more to get to 84. And I don't know what else I can do. Let's try the normal, or the spy influence. They're still authoritarian, so the influence will do nothing, I think. Damage will not help, morale loss will not help, and descent will not help. So they're just not going to join. There's nothing I can do. Ah, well, the investment failed. Let's see if the help is accepted. At least. Hopefully now that will shore them up against bankruptcy. So, what's the plan? I think we should still try and liberate Iraq. I do think Mashriq is ISIS. You know, they've softened their uh, totalitarianism a little bit, but this can't be the coalition or the moderate forces that we have today, because they would never have invaded Iraq, and I think we need to turn this back. I mean, the world has let this slide for 56 years now, and nobody has lifted a finger except us. So that's one thing. The other thing is I want to liberate South Sudan at some point. Very early in the game, Sudan took them back, and I think we should do something, especially since they border our ally Ethiopia. So weakening Sudan will be a good thing, and restoring freedom to South Sudan. Of course, let's have a look. So obviously they are completely alone, and, well, I don't even need to look. I mean, 8, 3, and 3, what can they do? Even the US can't do much at this point against us. 
especially with our capacity now being 200 and something. Of course, they are not nuclear, unlike the US, but there we have Star Wars, but it's not finished yet, so... Well, we're going that direction. So should we do it? I mean, we're just getting to 22 with a warmonger level. It's not going to do anything good. But on the other hand, what is the right thing to do? Sometimes the right thing to do is not the easy thing. So we'll take a penalty and we'll not get anything directly out of it, but maybe South Sudan will like us enough to join the, the block. So yes, this block thing is getting out of hand now. So many partners, but okay. Should we? I don't know. Look, I'll put it up to, to you. Tell me what I should do. Should we do what I think is a good thing and liberate South Sudan? Or should we first try and liberate Iraq? Or neither? Or both? Well, obviously I don't want to do both at the same time, so pick one before the other. But uh, yes, well, that's a suggestion, so we'll see what comes of that. Then, uh, yes, just carry on. Uh, see what the DRC will do if they are willing to accept some help, or is that not going to work? Do the relations again. UN? That was a new neighbor. Australia is in here now. There was a change here, but I can't remember exactly who was where. Oh well, we're not there. That's the bad thing. Just take care of all of this. 112 is not terrible, so I think over time our relationships are sort of becoming better again. But obviously attacking Sudan or Mashriq won't help that, but I'm willing to sacrifice that a little. Ah, oh, they failed. So there's no chance of that. 17%. You see, no, we have to... Uh, Improve relations. Let me have some more tea. So, I just gotta clear all these messages. Not been doing that enough. Then maybe we'll get one more of these funding initiatives in, or at least uh, donations contributions. A hey, second place, I guess this is now formalized again. And uh, yes, we keep this, I guess. Or is this the first time that we're getting this now? No, I think we have we had it before. It's confusing because this comes up and now I assume this is how it stands now. It's 76, like I know that was the next review period. But then we do get some updates from time to time. Oh well, we are number two. Improve relations with Ethiopia and the uh, warning goes away. So as long as they like us, there's zero risk of them leaving. So I guess India has been very good at that because their partners never leave them. And there's a war between Russia and Azerbaijan. So this thing is continuing. This quest to uh, get as many of the old Soviet republics back. And of course, Azerbaijan stands no chance at all. And I guess, I don't know, the UN Security Council is not doing anything against this expansionism. There's no EU to speak of anymore. And the US is absolutely silent. Well, they're back at war with Mexico for some reason. I didn't even see that. Hmm. Well, must have been between those piles of messages. So... No one is there to stop the Russian expansionism. One more, one more. So what is this over now? Poor Mexico has not had a moment's rest since this game began. This must be the fifth war, I think. And we did it. Oh yes, a bit ahead of India. Not that much, which shows why it's uh, really a good thing to keep investing as much as possible. Global fundraising, most generous, yes, we've seen that. So we get the 100 score and the 30 human development index, which is now at 170. Uh, and that's for about 10 years, more or less, but less. India got second place, so they contributed very generously to the institute now being built in Cape Town. And we thank them for that. 
and let's see the UK and so on and so on the US gave a little bit but they weren't really into it oh well it's another feather in our cap so Brazil finished its war with Paraguay and Paraguay is no more well that's a change in South America hmm so they're also on the war path and our war score, speaking of war, is gone. So the prime time to attack has come again. Our transports are also finished. And the real issue is now what do we do? Do we go for Zambia? I mean, I don't even need to look at their forces. We'll just whip them so bad they'll not be able to turn around once before we win. Peace between Mexico, Sweden, joined the block of Australia. That's a long way. Well, this is the start of the Australian block, I guess. Now, what's happened here? Nothing. I guess it's just more reparations against Mexico. No territory. Do we do this? I mean, I guess this is also why there's been no real pushback against our expansion so far, because we have the largest military. But then again, no one has done anything against Russia either. Do we do it? I don't know. It can be over so quickly, you know, and then we can bring it back down and then liberate South Sudan or Iraq. And I think there we'll take less of a hit to our war score or warmonger score, because in those cases I'm not going to be taking territory at all. This is just liberate those countries. End of story. So I don't think that should give us as much war score as when we conquer an independent country. In any case, I think the time has come for Zambia. Can we do it? 57 is not that good. We must bring it down to 30. Can we do that? This is also the problem. More and more countries in Southern Africa like us now. Or should we just try and take over Madagascar? Obviously, I don't have the core there, so it must be Zambia. I think so. Let's insult them. Oh, you're terrible. You are bankrupt. They're not really, but we'll say they are. And they don't know how to run the country, so we're going to run it for them. I should really think up some better insults. Switzerland, what is this? Are you wanting to buy nukes? We can both work something out. What? We would like to work together on a nuclear strategy. This is a new thing. We're sure we can work something out. So that gives us a 10% extra chance of a nuclear attack being successful. Okay, no problem. I mean, Switzerland is not a neutral country anymore. And so if they're willing to work with us, why not? So I guess it's some intel sharing and uh, coordination so we can strike our targets better. Well, that's fine by me. So Zambia, do you hate us now enough? Seems like it, so uh, here we go, I guess. And of course, look at the string of countries that will help. 266 against 10. This will be over in 10 seconds. So yes, let's do it. Now, shall we assign 50% of our forces? This is ridiculous. Yes, I think so. We don't even need to do that, but okay, we'll do it. Rage of War! And we get that, so we should get a new mission soon. Secure the front! To battle! This should go so easy. There we go, and... Advance! Should I push the button? Don't think so. It's not warranted. Done, and capture the roads. Well, Zambia, just remember, we, oh, Central Asian Union, well, that's nothing bad for us. Countries in Central Asia have officially proclaimed the birth of the economic and political union of Central Asia. Well, I wonder how this will affect the Indian alliance. Well, if it says a political union, that means it's a new country or block, I guess. Well, we'll see. Block of India destroyed. What did I say? That's interesting. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Just uh, got to do all these things. We already took one casualty there. 
So yes, uh, Zambia, you are a core of ours. Don't you know, in the documents it says the border is actually around you? You're part of us? Capture the key cities. Do it. Let's have a look at this thing in Asia. Well, yes, so it's one country now. I guess they just saw what was coming in Azerbaijan. And they decided, since the world is not helping them against the Russians, they're going to do it on their own. And Indonesia is at war with Australia. Guess that's an Australian nightmare. I wonder what for. It's just the time, you know. They gave up their operation and take the garrisons. So many wars now, you know. It's the US. It was Brazil, it was the Russians, the Indonesians. Star Wars is done. Let's stop for a second and look at this. What can we do? Advanced Star Wars. If Star Wars wasn't enough for you, we can go advanced. And that gives us another 15% defense against nuclear attacks. So I assume that final is 35% more. Do it. I don't want nukes falling on me. Luckily, we had the money. We can pay off some debt after this war is done. So, take the garrisons. Another casualty, I think, on our side. I do have a lot of infantry now, but it shall avail you not. Assign all of our forces. Wipe them out. It's a tidal wave they just couldn't see coming. Well, I guess they could, but... Nothing they could do against it. And they gave up their operation and do the final offensive. Just take the country. Indonesia has a higher warmonger level than us. And Brazil, of course. But yes, I guess the world can do nothing about this. We can take over whoever we like now. Obviously, taking over the US is a different proposition, and I'm not suggesting that. But the issue is no one can stop us. What are they going to do? They can condemn our war score, or warmonger level, as I keep calling the war score. Then, uh, yes, it's over. But then what? What are they going to do? Are they going to invade us to stop us? We'll defeat anyone who sets foot in Southern Africa. So yes, proceed with the peace, and so there's Acquire the Provinces, see, Liberation, yes, there's the one I want to use on South Sudan and Mashrik, so do let me know what I should do with that. Acquire the Province, and it is as it should be, and our war monger level is not as high as I thought it would be, obviously because we had a core on it. So thank you for that advice. It obviously made a huge difference. Otherwise it would have been over a hundred again. Now see, that's more like it, I think. Now we're getting somewhere. So one infantry destroyed Pakistan, bankrupt, hey, ignore that. Another infantry, another infantry, another in Okay, we're going to have to get about five more. All the blocks. Now they're okay. We'll need a, a lot more. We lost quite a bit there. Well, yet 166. What's that? That's still better than the US and China together. Let's get nine more infantry, maybe. Or uh, let's do 29 more. And aircraft, let's do. I don't know. 20 more. Just do it. And armored another 20. And navy another. We've never used the navy. But get another 10. And then transports get another 10. Let's get aggressive here. Expand, and we get another thing done, uh, drone recon, let's just stop, we get another task. So this one is still on the cards, I don't know how to do this, increase the economic development level by increasing GDP per capita. I've seen no way that you can directly influence the GDP per capita. I'll have a look now when we go back to the projects menu, just to see, but... Yes, we've had continuous growth in this country now and zero unemployment for decades. 
so I don't see how we can still have a low economic development, especially since our taxes are not that high, not really. So let's have a look. Uh, I didn't even look at the other thing. Health research program, so it's more of that health care. But I want to look at the economy. So we've got all of the things under the finance sectors. We are maxed out on the green energy focus, so that's the only uh, timer going off again. Time flies too fast, you know. Anyway, uh, so obviously we're not going to do those ones. Labor laws, we're up to maternity leave. I still see nothing that can show how the economic uh, level or the development level is influenced. I guess we could modernize the economy, but again, there's no direct influence there. Digital bureaucracy. Unemployment will grow, but it's zero, so I don't think that will be an issue. And we'll have 3% more taxes. Do it. It costs us a lot, but obviously it will bring in a lot more money over time. So the sooner we do that, the better. In any case, uh, I think that'll do for this episode. Let's just have a look around the map. I see... Uh, is that Israel? Yes, Israel wants money again. Well, since we're having such good fortune, let's share it. All right, there you go. You asked before, so I'll, I'll help. Europe wants nothing. The rest of Africa wants nothing. Let's just have a look at this again. I'm sure it's degraded again. 67 and now of course they don't like us so much because of our conquest of Zambia anyway we'll take care of that next time so yes it's up in the air now it's going to be impossible to get Madagascar I think you see it's now 49 with a war again it's just I don't know how to raise it up that high even with the improved relations and help country it won't be enough then let's see so yes let me know what should I do should we try more to get the uh, Republic of the Congo again? Or should we try for the DRC? I know the plan was to conquer the DRC. But uh, I don't know. Maybe we can still do that. But let me know there. Let's put it up to the General Assembly. Or not the General Assembly. I should pick a better name than that. The Senate or the Parliament. So you the viewers, you are the members of Parliament. Since we've got a Parliament here in South Africa. Not a Senate. So let me know. Vote in the parliament and tell me what we should do. There's something. Resources for sale. Cash only. Well, you don't sound like you trust us. Additional for... Well, we don't need that. Not really. But do we? Hold on. It looks like we've got another one of those uh, warnings saying that we don't have enough natural resources. That's probably why the Canadians are looking to sell it. Should we? Uh, no, not interested. I'll just uh, shut down one of our exports. Our money is rolling in. So it will not be too bad to do that. Well, we'll have to shut down the huge exports. It's unfortunate, but okay. Later on we can activate the big ones or the small ones again. Let's use our natural resources for ourselves. Then, is there anything else? Just want to do a very quick review on the map. Uh, they're still slugging it out, but Indonesia is winning. Oh, bad for you, Australia. I guess they had enough of those refugee centers. And yes, I guess that's it. So, thank you for watching. Do let me know on those issues. And uh, see you next time. Have a fantastic day.